What is up you guys and thank you so much for joining me. Today we are working on the C10. We're gonna go ahead and go over everything that we found in the back of the truck last week. Oh wow. Cause I have yet to take a look at it. Like I said in the previous video, I'm just waiting for my dad to get up here and we're gonna kind of go through it and then I'll fill you guys in on everything that we find. I also wanted to go over the front suspension cause I kind of mentioned it in the last video. It's got a bit of a pro touring suspension up front. I haven't even seen it yet. So we'll pop off one of the tires. We'll take a look at it and then we'll go over a few more things on the build. And we also want to pull the carburetor, go get that rebuilt so that we can go ahead and get this thing fired up soon. Also real quick, and I promise we'll get into the fun stuff. I wanted to mention that this is actually gonna end up being the new shop space. I do to give you guys possibly a little tour of everything right now it's really cluttered but we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up figured out because some of the cars are actually gonna be for sale I need to touch base with my grandpa and see what actually is gonna be for sale what we're keeping all of that but I know of a few that are actually for sale so I might mention those here later in the video and also it does need a little bit of love but I do want to maybe see if you guys would be interested in like watching like a shop remodel I guess because I do want to get new paint on the walls get all new lighting all of that get this set up really nice because this shop is much larger space than what we've been working in and I've got a lot more real estate out here to work with instead of having to fight to try and get into the shop like we've been dealing with at my old place or my current place right now. So I'll quit rambling but I really do want to show you guys the space because I'm excited and I hope you guys are as well because the projects will be getting pumped out much quicker and a lot smoother and I'll actually be able to upload more frequently. Before we jack it up and take a look at the suspension and the brakes I did want to show you guys real quick right here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the cameras. I don't know if it's picking it up but it was scraping like crazy that's why i couldn't get it turned around it literally can just go straight right now because of how slammed she is now i absolutely love this look it looks amazing drivability not the greatest unless we're just going straight so i need to mess around with either ride heights or get a different offset front wheel which i do not want to do i love the dish on the front wheel and then also the rear that's got crazy amount of dish in the rear as well so i can keep this look maybe get a little smaller front tire because i believe this is a 255 up front it's a 255 60 15 um we were kicking around the idea of maybe just doing a 245 that way the tire is not as bowed out um we can also clean up the inner fender a little bit give us a little bit more room just jack it up a little bit because i love this wheel a lot do let me know what you guys think uh, if we should keep this ride height and get a different offset front wheel for it or if we should jack it up a little bit and keep the same wheel and then maybe do a little smaller front tire because before we lift it up i will show you guys how low the controller i'm telling you they're like scraping the earth they're very close to the ground already so maybe giving a little bit more altitude will help because this is what we are working with right now look how low she is now i love it it's sexy but drivability i am not 100 percent sure i just don't want to run into anything and ruin that beautiful suspension now thankfully we do have an extremely low profile jack that i could get under there so I'm going to get it jacked up now that I got it jacked up a bit, I wanted to show you guys what we'd be working with if we raised her up a few inches. I know it's not scraping the earth anymore and it's not looking like as muscle car -y, but I think that looks great as well. Maybe tuck it a little bit more to match the rear. I think we could get away with that. And then obviously clean up the inner fender a bit, maybe drop it to a 245 instead of a 255 like we were talking about. It does look a little taller now cause it was like so low, but this is actually still really low. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of digging it even still. All right, we can finally get these wheels taken off. Oh, dang. Now it is a little dirty and dusty under here, but I want to get you guys a quick look at everything. Look at that sweet pro tour suspension as I hit the mic on the fender. And then we've got a little bit of surface rust on the front rotor, but not too bad. I do think I want to upgrade later on once we throw some more horsepower at it. Maybe even get like a four piston set up up front. But for now, this will work. I just want to be able to get her shut down. And then we take a quick look at the front. I've yet to see any branding or anything yet, but I know it's high quality stuff because my uncle was no slouch on anything. And I did notice that it has been sitting on the bump stop. So we're gonna have to raise it up anyway. I just need to figure out how to adjust all the everything under here. This is all new to me. Okay, real quick, we figured we should get a quick introduction to my father. He finally made it up here. I did make it on <laughs> YouTube. So we did take a quick glance over everything. We haven't really dug through anything yet. We may take some time to ourselves looking at everything. Oh, that's an old Holy one. Holy shit. 
52. That's an old one. That's when they used to sew you metal tabs and you bent them around and put them on there and stuff. That's how old that is. I didn't know they did metal tabs. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it was like early 60s when they started putting like the sticker ones on there. I had no idea that they did that. Yeah, that's crazy. That one's definitely going up on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Swap meat stuff. I'm figuring that's where he got it. You guys can see we've got plenty of license plates to put up on the wall. Registered 63 plate. It's got a 64 tag on it. I wasn't driven after that. That's I'm crazy. I wonder what that's off of. Yeah, I don't know. It's truck. Oh, it's, okay. uh, it's, oh wow. It's a truck of some kind, so that's all. Awesome. I'm assuming that's all stuff he got at swap meets because he didn't know anything older than that. That's but. also what I was wondering yeah, if this yeah. was actually his yeah. or just yeah. stuff he found at swap meets. He's like me. You see something cool, you want to hang on the wall. I'm sure that stuff was just plastering his walls at the shop, you know? Yeah. Well, it's going to be plastering the walls of this yeah. shop now. It's like stuff you don't see every day, so if you see it, 1953, stamped right in it. That's it. So this one basically... Every time you had to register, you had to get a new plate that said 54, 55, up until... Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That's Oregon, though. They're fucking weirdos. <laughs> that's a, the wheel that was on it when he bought it. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. See? That's a stock one for it. We're so. definitely keeping that. That thing's in awesome shape. It dude. really is. Nobody was white knuckling that thing. <laughs> wow. Okay, so right now we're just going to kind of go through all the memorabilia stuff ourselves and then we'll kind of lay it out and show you guys. And then afterwards we'll start picking through the actual parts and everything. We just didn't want to like kind of bore you guys, I guess, with <laughs> going through all of the memory Even lanes. Even cool stuff. Yes, it's yeah. very cool stuff. We just want to go through it ourselves and then we'll show you it. We've got a moving blanket over on the side. We'll show you guys everything. But then we'll get to the cool parts and all that that you guys are probably interested in as well. So this is where we're at right now with all the memorabilia stuff that we had found in the back of the truck. Like my dad was saying, there is plenty more where this came from that we haven't even scratched the surface on everything. I just want to give you guys a quick look at everything here. But if you guys would like for us to go ahead and do a little separate video on everything that we found, because there's a lot of cool old school stuff and original things that we found. And my dad would have no problem educating us on everything that we found. Like these original hot rod magazines that we found that my uncle happened to frame. And this one's really cool because it's from 1948. Original magazine, the whole magazine's in there. I actually really want one of these cars, so that thing's very badass to me. Like a lot of these old school Washington and Oregon plates that we've got here. Wild 1967. This plate is actually off of my uncle's 1967 Chevelle from what my dad was telling me. And then we've got an original 1957 plate right here with the original metal tabs on it. Especially like this old school plate right here that we found. This is very rare from what my dad was saying. Yes. <laughs> Back in the day, every plate, you had to replace your plate every year. They emboss the year in it. After a while, more cost effective to use the original plate and they made these metal tabs that replace the date on there. I can't even remember when they stopped doing that. I think it's all cool stuff. Especially being in this good a condition. Oh yeah, like, this, this is one insane. definitely. Like I told you, bud, I've got one just like this, but it is so, there's no paint left on it. It's not rusted all to hell, but it's like, it was on a car that was butt face to the sun its whole life <laughs> up in Waterville and it's good wall art, but this is a very nice one. Now over on this side, we've got little salt flat corner over here and this is actually Actually a photo from this is my great uncle right here the one that I got the truck from my dad my uncle and my grandpa right here and this is actually a very special photo because this is the first year that all four of them were able to go to the salt flats together so if you guys would like a full separate video on all this stuff and all the other memorabilia things that we found and we have we can go ahead and definitely do a video for that so let me know in the comments below because there's a lot of cool old-school stuff that I think a lot of you guys might be interested in so now we can move on to every all the parts that have to do with what we're assuming the truck we're not sure what all we'll find in here. I know there's a bunch of parts, but it could be for a few other vehicles like Gumby over there. That's actually my dad's now. <laughs> if you guys want a video on that truck, we can definitely do a video on that. That's gonna be the going to town rig. And this, 
like a small block. Saying, that's definitely for a small block. It looks like a small block. Chrome used to be cool in the day. Chrome doesn't seal worth a crap. Mm -mm. Usually anything chrome you buy is stamped by a cheap manufacturer and they don't seal very well. I mean, it's still cool. Be good wall art. Yeah. I'd rather put like a billet aluminum oil pan or even OEM steel one on it. They're two different ones. Though. I think this one's a big block. That's a big block. That's small block. Yeah. Yep. Between you and me, I wouldn't use either one. We're not fun going, to hang up though. We're not going for glam. We're going for <laughs> performance and keeping fluids in the engine. So. Yeah. Starter solenoid. Is it? Yep. Because if you're running headers on a, a Chevrolet, any of any kind, they heat the starter. Oh, I was going to have you tell them about that when yeah. we get under the hood. Yeah, they heat the starter up. Grandpa, his trick was, same with me, you mount these on the firewall so your solenoids away from the heat and run this down to your GM starter and this will never get hot. You just wire your solenoid on your starter direct so it's always hot and then you get your power from here down to it. So, okay, and it's not yeah. getting cooked? Exactly. Okay. And plus it's easy to jump. I'm not a Ford fan but they were smart with that so. <laughs> I yeah. guess we'll get Ford that. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the creme de <laughs> Yes. Here's your front sway bar, buddy. Yeah. Look at that thing. That, that thing's burly. See a make on it though. None of this, is, none of the suspension had a, any make on it. Yeah. So I did I'm see assuming that, it's all from the same manufacturer. It'd be nice to find out what he got this stuff Well, I was through, looking but, up uh, earlier and it looks like it's from like Speedway Motors. Oh, okay. It looks like it's from okay. Speedway. I bought lots of stuff through Speedway. And Grandpa the, buys everything through Speedway. You know, <laughs> like, I never, that thing's gonna hold tight. So I'm assuming there's probably some uprights. There's gotta be, Somewhere yeah. in here that go to it. And the bushings for the frame mount. Oh, I think we found it. Oh, there's, see? Those are good. You can even grease them. You can them. grease them. So here, that thing's burly. There you go. Woo. Yep, here's the bushings too. Yep. There oh, here go. we go. Oh, yep. oh, we got heim joints. Yeah. Nice. That's good shit. Nice. Fuel pump. That's one of those Holly ones like I have. Yeah. Never a gas run through it. Probably fairly newish. I think small block, big block take the same fuel pump. So. Do they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're pickup ones, maybe, but. A really nice shape. Yeah. Whatever they're off of. If somebody could let us know what these are for. Yeah. We're not sure what these are off of, but so if some of you guys could let us know. That'd be great. If you need them, we've got four that are in really good shape. Either that or they're going to hang on the wall. <laughs> and we've got a really filthy K&N filter. We'll sell dirt cheap if you want it. <laughs> That's a tall one. But she's uh, nasty looking. Fortunately, you can clean those. Then we got that master cylinder because there was people wondering about <laughs> what was going on with that one. Perfect. Yep. Brand new one for it. That's perfect. Well, that's good to know. Yep. That's the main thing. We're trying to find out what you need to order and what you don't need to. Yep. Like I was telling them, I was I was trying to make a list, and then like you both, you and Grandpa had told me, just hold up. Like, yeah. Then you got upper and lower radiator hoses, brand new. Oh, okay, perfect. That's nice. It's so hard to find. I was trying to find some like blue ones, but they're limited what you can get them for. That's what stinks. Oh, yeah. okay. They're good hoses, but trying to find them in a molded custom fit thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they are good because once they're on there, they never go bad, it seems like. But no. Holy 10 bucks. I know. For a Moroso. I know. He's had that for a while. That's definitely been around for a little yeah. bit. 
Like could this, could you use this on Gumby then? Oh yeah, easily. Okay, good. But on that, I'll probably use just a manual fan on it. It's just going town rig. But yeah, the, that's uh, what I figured it'd be good for but you. But the 68 will have electric fans on it. Oh, the 68 is gonna be nasty. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the 68. Oh, that's the same one I have. That's the old torque or high rise. Scuffed up and ready yeah. to paint. These are good intakes. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing too, is I need to learn. Yeah. I need to learn about these. So what makes it a torque or is it the higher? Uh, higher Just a drill? higher plenum. Okay. It's like, they're, I don't know. I want to compare them to a tunnel ram. The higher the rise they're putting a the spacer under, you lose a little bit of low end torque and stuff, but they have more high end power. Oh, okay. If you're okay. actually running them hard at high RPM. Okay. It's all matching a cam to it and everything else, and the carburation and all that. All that, that math, and the heads yeah. and all that. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those deals where guys would buy those things and just throw them on their car thinking it's going to haul ass. It probably hurts. You don't have everything else to make it work, so. It probably hurts it more <laughs> than it helps. <laughs> yeah. Small, small block. Well, I don't know. It says both. What's the number on this? Big block. Yep, big block. Oh, okay, now we can. So I bet this is the noisy one. This is the one he was talking about when. So he must have already had that one. Yeah. The quiet one, because before he took it over, he said he wanted to get a loud one. Yeah. That's so that's it. Yeah. There's, there's your loud one. I'm running this one. Keep that separate from the other yep. one. Yep. Here's your new lifter. Oh, for that camshaft. It's all comp cam stuff too, which is good stuff. I'd use this for first. Perfect. Perfect. Comp hydraulic lifters. k and filters. Get two of them. As long as they're not Fram. Fram <laughs> sucked. <laughs> Okay. Brand new water pump. Perfect. Yeah, Norm was smart. He thought ahead. He the thought... thing sat so long, you know stuff's gonna dry out, you yep. know, and go to crap from sitting that long. He thought totally ahead. Awesome. And that's the grill. Even says 454 on it. Oh, take a look at that. That is cool. That's actually really that cool. That is cool. Who is this through? That's a GM OEM yeah. one. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> I put that in all day long. Yeah. I know you like the tube grill. That oh, needs yeah. to go in. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How the hell did he find that? Jeez, that's awesome. That's cool. That is cool. Get them a quick look at the 454. That thing's badass. Oh, and yeah. it I like that it's the yellow because it matches the size. Yeah. It's heavy too. <laughs> like, you know it's legit. Oh yeah, that's not Chinese. <laughs> China? Yeah. They might have been open before. There might be old parts. Oh, new mirrors. Heck yeah. Oh, those are sweet. Old, the originals. Those oh, are cool. I like those. <laughs> Man, top shelf. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then here we go, the thing you were wondering about. And this thing is dead stick awesome. This thing's like old school. Nice. It's not aluminum, but it'll get you down the ranch road. I'm sure it'll keep that thing cool. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Is it long. for this one or is it for... I think it's for this one. We'll have to measure the spacing on that top plate where the rubber things meet. Yeah, it's a four core. It'll okay. definitely cool that big block. So. Okay. Oh, nice. she's stout. I know. She's right? thick. Em. <laughs> she's, a, she's solid. Oh, I think the, that this box is what these were in. Oh, there's nothing in here, is yeah. there? Yeah. Okay, well, it turns out we were wrong, actually. <laughs> There's brand new wheel moldings in here. I took a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of a dent in it. So we'll fix that up with these. 
That's awesome. Okay. Well, now we experiment with the front ones. Yep. The tire clearance. Yep. If we fuck them up, no big deal. We got two brand new ones. <laughs> exactly. Right? So now we've kind of gone through everything out of the back of the truck, seen what we have and what we still need to get. We really don't need to get a whole lot, which is really great because he got a lot of good parts, as you guys could kind of see. I do apologize for the angles, but that was the best we could do. But we'll get more in depth later on with all the different parts and everything when we go to actually install them. This was just kind of going everything in the back of the truck. And then now we're going to go ahead and move forward by removing the car carburetor and my dad talk a little bit about that and then in another video we'll show you him actually rebuilding it when we actually go to start it up yeah so what we got here i'm not sure on the numbers i i haven't dealt with these for a little bit but pretty assuming this is like a 600 cfm it's got a metering plate on the back vacuum secondary carburetor which was holly's version of a fuel mileage carburetor it was probably good enough for this thing at the time so we're gonna pull this off of here and we're gonna rebuild it to get it going for now but i know when we recam it do some other the things it's gonna need something significantly better so, yeah 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 <laughs> we're definitely yeah. gonna upgrade it but yeah. to get it on the road yeah, i think this exactly. will, yeah. that'll work for now yeah <laughs> but i think i have about everything except maybe not the accelerator pump diaphragm for one of these i got one of the larger cc ones i think i got about everything to rebuild that carburetor so it's the rubber part you got to worry about they sit around so long fortunately this thing ran when it had good fuel back in the day pretty sure once you add fuel to it some rubber pieces are going to fall apart so we're just gonna go through the whole thing, clean it up, get it tuned in, float set, all that stuff. Yeah. Get it back on the road soon exactly, enough. Exactly, yeah. Just to get it running, drive it for a little bit, you know? Use it for a baseline for everything. We're gonna pull this off. First thing I do is eliminate this stupid glass fuel filter. <laughs> These leaked brand new and I know it's gonna leak. We'll get a better one here in the yeah. future. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna do some lines here. Oh, this thing's hard as a rock. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet. It has all the symptoms of sitting since 1989. <laughs> oh, she on there, on yeah. there. Yeah. He broke the fitting loose by wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. No fuel came out. That's weird. What? Undo the throttle linkage here. This is way easier than me trying to film it. I like filming. <laughs> There we go. It still blows me away this thing has cruise control. Oh, I know. I don't know if that was like a special order because it doesn't look like it's totally factory. Original equipment, you know? Yeah. Like, it might have been an option that factory offered. But uh, like I said, I don't know everything about everything on these. Okay, that's loose. That's off your uh, vacuum advance off the distributor there. PCV valve for sucking oils and shit into your carburetor that the engine's putting off with blow by which i hate these things i'd rather just do exhaust ports like the race cars did that do the fumes out of the engine build up oh rather than running recycled oil and you know blow by through your carburetor oh yeah this ain't a bad gig just filming oh i feel like i'm at work <laughs> yeah i'm doing everything and everybody else just standing around oh hey <laughs> bunch, of no. <laughs> bunch of whole standers yeah. it's like the old joke around here from the public utility district where the guy called and said hey we forgot our shovels and the guy said hey just lean on each other till the sh <laughs> we get there with the shovels <laughs> yeah i'll check the numbers but i'm pretty sure this is a 600 they might have made it might have made a 650 with the metering plate in the back they're not performance carburetors but you can't jet the back it's metered it's got a plate and whatever this vacuum thing puts out for when you're driving it, you know, your vacuum secondaries, it meters it, the fuel to the secondary. So there's, there's no adjustability from the carburetor back on them. Up here still has primary jets and stuff you can switch out and different things, but. Um, so you can still jet the front? Yeah, 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 but it's pointless. I mean, if you can't do anything with the secondaries, if you're planning on hauling butt, you know. <laughs> you're in the business of hauling ass around here. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, this is Holly's economy, supposedly economy carburetor oh, okay and people it's... i know people hate holly I like the simplest carburetor to work on i i just think a lot of people don't know how to adjust them and dial them in a lot yeah. of people are afraid of them yeah the biggest thing with hollies was if you had a backfire through the carburetor it would blow the power valve out and then they just run rich and almost catch a hood fire oh dang but they make things now the new the new hollies aren't like that they got check balls in them now so it doesn't blow the power valve out and you can buy stuff for the older ones to eliminate that too yeah trust me my old 67 step side had a big burnt mark right in the middle of the hood from that happening but <laughs> that's how you know <laughs> yeah yeah i had a double pumper 650 on it that popped through the carb and blew the power valve out and then decided to run rich and then cut a carburetor on fire so 
Sounds um, like a good time. Oh, we got it there off. There we go. And I'm just going to lay all this stuff back in the intake so we know where it is. And we're going to shove some rags down here to keep the varmints and everything dirt. out of there. <laughs> got it all plugged up so none of the varmints or the dirt yeah. get in there. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> now, next time you guys see the carburetor, we'll be rebuilding it at my dad's house. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get some footage of that. And then we won't see that footage until we're actually firing it up. I'll go over everything. Uh, or I'll have my dad go over everything because he knows this way better than I do. I'm still learning, but mm -hmm. I'm going to learn from the best, in my opinion. Him and my grandfather. I can probably end it right here then. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little different than you guys are used to with my videos, but I wanted to have fun with it. Got to meet my dad. I'm glad that we got to do some work with my dad. We're going to be working with him a lot more in the future with this truck, Gumby, and a few of the other vehicles. I can't wait for you guys to see the 68. Can't wait either. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Thank you for the help, dad. You're welcome, buddy. We'll be seeing more of us in the future working together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Awesome.